Welcome everyone. I'm Roseanne and today is Real Life Tuesday. Today I wanted to go a little deeper into why do I always say for you to go within? And uh, I came across this little uh, fact here and I loved it because it really clarifies the importance of going within. So let's read this. Your physical reality is just a reaction to your internal vibration. So what does that really mean? So let's read it again, really seeing what that's saying. So your physical reality, that means everything that is outside of you and physically that you are experiencing is a reaction to your internal vibration. So what is an internal vibration? An internal vibration is everything that you are feeling and being on a consistent basis. So emotions such as fear, worry, anxiety, depression, these are all very low vibrational emotions, right? They, their frequency is very low. So if you are in a state of fear, anxiety, or you're depressed, what you are going to see in your external environment, your external reality, your physical reality, are going to be reactions and reflections of that internal vibration, which often then will reinforce feelings of fear, anxiety, depression, etc., whatever it is that you are vibrating at. On the other side of the coin, if you are feeling uh, joy, gratitude, love, these are very high frequency uh, emotions, and um, you are then going to see your external physical reality reflect those frequencies as well. So you would kind of want, obviously, to be more on the high vibration to be able to feel and see that in your external physical reality on a day-to-day -day basis. I comprehend that it's not always easy to maintain that. We are very up and down in different emotions. However, it's more than just an emotion. We, we aren't looking for um, those temporary fleeting thoughts and, and moments um, for your frequency. It's more that core, you know, what is that main stable energy frequency that you're operating in? That is how you are going to be able to see what is reacting and influencing your physical reality. On the other hand, if you are consistently working on um, your internal vibration, again, going within, with things like meditation, mindfulness, gratitude, uh, you know, journaling gratitude, uh, things like that that we've talked a lot about. This is how you can then have this inner state of being that is vibrating at a very high frequency consistently. Even if you have fleeting moments that are lower vibration, your core frequency is that high vibration and that's what's going to reflect in your physical reality. So that's why it's so important. Really uh, think about that. Prepare yourself um, me mentally, physically, and spiritually um, when you know that perhaps in your external world there are going to be challenges that are coming up. A high vibration, internal vibration, doesn't mean that things don't go, uh, you know, wrong or things aren't challenging or there's not chaos in the external world. It just doesn't affect you in the same way that if then someone who is at that low frequency. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so prepare for any challenge by getting your mental and internal state together practice that meditation mindfulness if you need some guidance reach out to me i've got some free resources that i'd be uh, very happy to share with you and uh you know go within because you are actually the one creating your physical reality by your internal vibration
I hope that this um, makes sense. And if not, comment below. Or if it does, comment below. You know, make sure you subscribe. And I would love to see your thoughts about um, how you use your internal vibration to create um, your physical reality. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you again soon.